The worst game for grinding that I've ever played was... <laughs> Morrowind was pretty bad. Saffirem has hosted me! Thank you, Saffirem, for the host. If you guys haven't checked out Saffirem, he plays some pretty cool XCOM games. Like, Terror from the Deep sometimes. Just far too, far too frightening for me still. Getting personnel the number one goal in the early game. Yeah, getting scientists, Don't engineers, and rebels idiot. is the, the biggest thing that I care about. That and contacting the third region, but contacting the third region basically is getting rebels. Like that's why it's important. We're very close to the objective. I don't have a specialist. Ziehe los. Feindlicher Trupp entdeckt. Have I journeyed into the Retoran Vault? I don't know what that means. But there were like varying levels of grind that you had to like, you had to decide what level you were okay with at Morrowind. Like, were you going to go start fortifying your alchemy skill with like fortify alchemy potions and then selling them? And like making more over and over again until your alchemy skill was like in the thousands and the potions you made of alchemy, fortify alchemy were like selling for all the gold and then just collect all of the gold and the entire were you going to do that or were you going to limit yourself to only like training your endurance to 100 or whatever That's or was that one in oblivion i don't know anyway morrowind had some mechanical okay awkward incentives shall we say evil diz thanks for the follow welcome to the stream Craft 10,000 iron daggers, enchant them, and sell them. Hmm. It was possible to amass 70,000 worth of gold in Ebonly using loot found in the Red Ren Vault and Creeper and Caldera. But you could just get infinite gold just by training alcohol. I mean... <laughs> I think the takeaway is that there were like a number of different ways which were slightly differing amounts of extremely boring which you could use to completely break the entire game in Morrowind. In Oblivion, for the most part, all I did was let myself get hit by a mud crab for about four hours to train endurance to 100 and then I could actually feel like I got to play the game. Rolling out. Skyrim did like a decent job of making it so that you actually were incentivized to play the game. I appreciate that about Skyrim. Time to motor. Verstanden. Grindiest of grinds is Cookie Clicker. My brother played Cookie Cookie Clicker for a while. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. Not quite convinced by uh, that game design. Can I hack that from here? I can. We're gonna get all the way around this building. Good copy. Moving on target. Alles klar. Sneak against the corner to stealth. Leave your character swimming into a corner with like a rubber band on the joystick overnight to get, was that speed? Is that how you'd level speed? I don't even remember. Doesn't seem that hard to uh, make sure that your incentives work in a system like that. But maybe it is harder than I give it credit for, I don't know. On the move. Mm. 
acrobatics and athletics. Yeah, acrobatics. Aaron Kurz, thanks for the follow up to the stream. Yeah, you had to jump everywhere while you were moving, so the level acrobatics I remember now. Uh, <laughs> How's it going there, Anchors? Order's confirmed, on the move. And then, like, of course, after you've done all of these things, the actual game is a game that you can theoretically speedrun in three minutes or something, so <laughs> none of... None of these things actually are required in order to beat the game in any way whatsoever. Good times. Got it. <sighs> Rolling out. You hated that you kept on leveling up acrobatics. But you gotta get it to 99. That's like the entire allure of the, the genre, right? Hmm. There's a door here? Moving on target location. Shit is about to get so weird. Out. Looking forward to it. Note that since we didn't get like patrolled into by a drone on turn one, we don't have to worry about reinforcements in this entire mission. Take. Whereas on the mission where we did get patrolled into by a drone on turn one, we got to fight seven reinforcements. Like in the natural course of the mission, it wasn't even like we waited around at the end. Having to drop the skooma. Oh, these are such valuable memories from my childhood. Is there an example of a game where you get better at a skill by doing it where the game doesn't turn into Been off dem weg. like that sort of awful manipulation? I guess Skyrim sort of did it because as you level up you fight tougher and tougher enemies. Erisvana! Follow, welcome to the stream. Join the show. Appreciate the support a lot. Okay, so unfortunately, when I hack, it places an alert right on top of me. And everybody on the map starts running at me. However, I'm at the crate. And so, what we can do is just throw evac. Wait. Okay, I only have one turn. Shit. But I can throw evac, it starts arriving, and this doesn't, this doesn't alert the map. And then next turn I can hack and try to run backwards into the corner. This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. There isn't, because if there is a super efficient but boring way to do it, people will do it. Tally ho for cuckers. A cucker is in chat. Hell yeah, this is the follow-up to the stream. There must be a game where it's done, like, relatively engagingly. It doesn't have to be perfect, but... I don't know, there must be something like that. Somewhere. I didn't even think about looking at who had the best hack value. Should probably have done that though. 
There's something out there. Moving to position. Okay, Binotovix. So we're gonna try to hide. Sure thing. Oops. Just want more Balotin. Roger that. Maybe a flesh wound. On your order. Shot wide. Burn it through. Mm. Yes, I see. Pretty decent chance that kills. Is there any info on what missions affect? Um, that would be on the wiki, probably. It's in the game code. <laughs> if you feel like reading the game code, I certainly understand if you don't. This guy's dashing towards the nearest pod. We see enemies right here. I don't know if there's like a spreadsheet version which shows you all that stuff. Here on Matrix. Why not go behind the full cover? VR, VR, VR. Well, welcome to the stream. I'm not sure what you mean. Which full cover? I'm behind some full cover. Yellowed. Ich bin bereit. Die ist für dich. You don't know why you do data taps. Um, those ones are trying to kill your rebels. So if it says that it gives you unhindered operations, that means that the aliens are trying to kill your rebels in an attempt to hinder your operations and that's true of data taps like protect recruiters is the resistance one and like protect supply convoy or something i'm gonna guess that's what it's called for supply mini retails Missed an 87% chance to hit shot with a 10% graze band on. This is my life now. Alright. Stop. It's not that hard to do that. Like a 1 in 33. Is memeing yourselves right now? Grenade! Good for you. Alright, I threw a grenade at him because I don't know. There's nothing else to really do with that soldier. We're likely getting flashbanged and then hunkering. 
yeah, that's not super surprising. Unfortunately, this pod has two sentries and a sec point in it. So... That's potentially quite scary to leave against next turn. Vex right there, which means I can pretty easily get there from here. Take a 69% chance to hit shot, or I can not grenade him. Try to get a kill on the sentry, maybe. Okay. Just it gives him something to think about. Overwatch. We're gonna hunker some guys. The sectoid's really scary here. A bad mind control. Oh god. <laughs> um. This is fire. All right, we're not Time quite leaving yet. Reinforcements are incoming. I'm gonna get you dead. Stay hunkered. a joke? Oh, this guy, okay. That's fine, I can grenade him from here. I can still just leave. A light wound, right? From somebody? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the yellow one. A little bit of a wound. Solid mission, though, for a squad with a lot of rookies in it. Did Natsuki Sakamoto actually hit any of her attacks? I think with 77 aim, we definitely go rapid deployment because we're going to want to end our turn with a shot so often that Sapper and Needle are both pretty mediocre.
And then we have some rookies to level up. We already got a shinobi and a sharpshooter, right? Sharpshooter. No shinobi. Sharpshooter. Assault. We got a sharpshooter and an assault. Okay, those are two pretty heavy aim based classes. A decently high aim gunner. Sparky is going to be my second high aim grenadier of the campaign. Thank you, Sparky. Hope you're enjoying your shirt. Cursed will be a technical. That's great. Got our specialist, the 47 hack. Isn't too bad. Looking at a ranger, shinobi. Ranger and a shinobi. Arashi would be fine as either. Oh, wait, what? You're already a ranger? Oh, you're already a ranger, okay. Uh, ranger or a shinobi? On these guys? <laughs> That's unfortunate. Keeper I'd be okay with as either, I guess. Definitely prefer shinobi, That's nice. And then we have a ranger to level up. Which means Marauder can become a 73 aim ranger, that's fine. Commander, one of our resistance contacts just tipped us off to a site that may be worth investigating. Okay, this jailbreak is almost ready to launch. We want to launch it the second that we hit. It's vulnerable, ideally. Fly on over to the amusement center. Hmm? You hate havens because you want every soldier to go on mission. Sacrificers go on mission. Don't see the problem. This must launch and hasn't hit vulnerable, unfortunately. Technical gunner assault, sharpshooter assault, rookie. Oh, this is by far the strongest team that we've had on a mission so far. Should be okay. 